Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm about you checking in, man. There's been a lot of tragedy going on in the world. I don't really use my channel to, to speak out on a lot of stuff that's not battle rap related, but this was something I definitely want to do a video on, man. And shout out to all the battle rappers that's on Instagram doing videos, whether they speaking or spitting bars about the situation. And I felt like this is something that should live on YouTube forever. So, you know, if nobody else was going to bring to YouTube, I felt like I should snatch their videos, bring it to YouTube, and it could live on forever. So, salute to Hitman Holla, salute to Arsenal the Rebel, and salute to John John and Don for speaking out on this. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was verbal or just bars. And I wanted it to live on YouTube. Every time we get in a situation where something tragic like this happens, we always think, oh, the police have gone too far. When honestly, man, they've been going too far, if we're keeping it real. This ain't even something new. It just seems like these new situations just just reawakes people's awareness. But it should all you should always be aware of this because it's going on all the damn time. And it don't matter if you march. It don't matter if you tweet. It don't matter if you do blogs. It don't matter pretty much what you do, man. At the end of the day, the only thing that's going to change what's going on with this police brutality and people just taking people's lives for no reasons, you got to start being in position to make the change themselves, which means we got to start being police officers. We got to start being judges and we got to start being lawyers and the whole nine. We got to be in these leadership roles to make a change. You know what I'm saying? I was watching something on TV. There was a cop, a white cop. He had done something, some type of police brutality where he had, you know, used too much force. I think somebody ended up losing their life or whatever, a minority. He had to go see a black judge, and the judge wasn't leaning on him at all. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's what I'm saying. When you get in a position where you are a judge, a lawyer, a prosecutor, a police officer, another fellow police officer, something like that, you can inflict change that way much better than you can doing something else. And that's really the only way, man. You gotta kinda live you gotta kinda be able to live that shit by example. I'm not saying all cops are bad. But I'm just saying some of these dudes, they don't even know what it's like to have authority. It's like an adrenaline rush for them. They got a badge and these niggas think they are somebody now. And as far as the cops, man, these niggas are getting off on administrative leave. These niggas still getting paid. Like I don't understand like why these niggas ain't getting prosecuted. You know what I'm saying? These niggas will be back on the force and all kind of like, it's just a whole conspiracy, my nigga. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't figured it all out, but it's definitely a conspiracy. Niggas are basically killing black people, killing minorities, getting put on administrative leave with pay, and they're going to end up joining the force again. They're going to end up right back on the, they're going to end up right back on the force, right back at the work. Six months later, we'll all forget about this. You'll never remember the cops that got added back to the force. You know what I'm saying? They came off administrative leave. And that's that. They may reassign them, put them in a whole different area, but at the end of the day, we won't even be hearing about these cops no more. I just want to say RIP to all of the victims, man, and we definitely got to stop the violence, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to come together as a community, stop the violence, and it's not just police on, on uh, minority crime. We got our own issues in our community, man. We got our own black-on-black -black crime that we got to deal with as well. I see what's going on in Chicago. So everybody from Chicago, I see all the shit that's going on in the news. You know what I'm saying? 50 people dying in a day and all kind of crazy shit. We got our own issues as a, as a society. Y'all check out these videos. Shout out to Hitman Holla. Shout out to uh, John John Adon. And shout out to Arsenal the Rebel. Unbiased Review. Holla at your boy. Yo. Shoot a nigga in due time if it's a street pistol, but you could probably get away with it if it's police issue. Being black makes you a target regardless if you got heat with you, because nowadays all you need is cigarettes and CDs with you. Rest in peace to Eric and Alton, to evolve, man. Can't forget Bell, Brown, Rice, Gray, or Martin. This shit's retarded. That's how they plan on chasing us out. See what they did to Sandra? Left a bland taste in my mouth. It got me ready to call 911. And when the cops come, it won't be no emergency. Just me holding a shotgun. I'll even pop one off first and I will not run. So if I go out like Blizzard and Juice, it's because I got some. But better yet, got to find a way to infiltrate to make a change. Because if you really want to beat the system, you got to play the game and raise our kids to be lawyers and prosecutors to get justice for the victims for once and not the shooters i got to do this yo real shit black sticking together something to deal with man we encounter so much pain we just heal quick it's over once we figure it out and they'll worry that just picture me with a harvard degree They'll be scared of that. They nervous. They do what they can just to murder blacks. But realize it ain't way back then. We gonna murder back. 11 cops shot. Now they screaming for help. Who cares? Mike Brown took 10 by himself. But we gotta play it smart. That's what my father say. We lack guidance. That's why they try to keep our fathers away. 
Them white racist folks hide their faces. Tell them to leave a mask at home. KKK, I got a K. Let me tag along. What I supposed to shed a tear and cry because a cop slaughtered? When I just watched one kill a man in front of his daughter? I just watched one kill a man for selling CDs? I just watched one kill a man that couldn't breathe? This all part of Trump plan. If you can't see it, you blind. But just know, this way, I'm killing for more. Middle finger to the law. They keep killing our brothers. Alton Sterling murder on camera. So was some of the others. Sandra Bland and get her mug shot. Mike Brown got his mug shot. Eric Gardner got choked out on camera till his lungs stopped. My daughter, she a queen. She only two years old and whatnot. Am I gonna have to put a pistol in her lunchbox? Be strapped in the morning as I walk her to the bus stop? Probably crooked or not. Now it's fuck cops and fuck Donald Trump. I hope my people vote against them. I don't mind that orange jumpsuit, I ain't scared to go to prison, motherfucker, either it's justice or it's war now, that's your decision, tell them I shot the sheriff, not my co-defendant, they putting cameras on their uniforms for fun, knowing he was unarmed, yelling gun, six shots to his chest, five more than one, who gonna raise his family, who gonna take care of his son, nah, this shit ain't just begun, white boy walked in the church, took nine black lives that matter, they walked him out with a vest on his chest, that's even sadder, yesterday, they killed Phil Lando at a traffic stop. It pained me to watch the live footage his girl lavish shot. I had to watch a brother get slain by a faggot cop. It ain't funny, but why my people always dying like we laugh a lot? We could be within our rights and still get left. Record could be clean, they'll turn us into a big mess. Daddy dead, mommy lost her head, so now the kid's stressed. If we don't get a break fast, I'm cutting bacon out of pig flesh. I've been vexed. Ever since them crackers killed my uncle Nah, they had him cuffed, maced him till he couldn't breathe and let him fucking die. So when I say fuck the police, no need to wonder why, cause they don't know the pain we feel watching our black mothers cry. Fuck the lies. And the cover-up shot putting in the news is mug shots for black victims, but yeah, book picks for white criminals. So all that we get treated equal shit is nonsense. And P.S. I still wanna know what happened to Kendrick Johnson. Police got shot in Dallas and now this shit's real. So here's a taste of your own antidote. Now think D'Angelo, how does it feel? Even though I think it's really the government trying to start a war between the minorities and the authorities to pass the martial law. Election time is right around the corner and there's no hope for us. But when them polls is up, I'll be folding up whoever vote for Trump, two eagles. For my own protection and i plan to serve i'm trying to bring the walls down on them pigs with these angry birds i can't say i'm not happy someone murdered these cops but if you wear that badge with pride you deserve to be shot i'm sorry but our reality just turned into a horror show 11 cops down and i'm just hoping that there's more to go and if you think i'm being ignorant don't even mention me because 11 cops don't compare to the millions we lost over the centuries you kidding me but don't worry, people will be all right. I tell the clan I'll be at Piedmont Park and know it's on site.